There is a power deep within your mind and body that once it's activated, has the power to attract almost anything you desire. This is something very few people talk about because this holds the secret to attract anything and everything you desire. When you truly learn how to harness this power, absolutely nothing can stop you. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach, manifesting expert and founder of mkmagicmindset.com. I take the complication and overwhelm out of the law of attraction and give you the tools you need to get the results you want. My whole channel is all about law of attraction, manifesting, meditations, and more. So be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you. In order to attract the things that you want in life, it all comes down to energy, frequency, and vibration. These are the fundamental principles within the law of attraction, but very few people understand how they work. This is why you'll keep hearing the same information over and over again and keep seeing the same people say the same things over and over again. Very few people actually understand how these principles work within the law of attraction. Every single thing is made up of energy. You are made of energy. I am made of energy. Your computer or smartphone you're watching this on is made of energy. It's all energy forming together to create tangible things that we can see, touch, feel, and experience. And in order to attract what you want, you have to be in the right frequency and hold the right vibration. These principles work together to attract things into your reality. And it's not magic, it's science. Here's what most people don't understand when it truly comes to attracting what you want. You can think of everything in levels. Right now, you're at a certain level based on the things you've continued to think and believe. You are where you are right now because of your subconscious programming. And this is really hard for a lot of people to understand and accept because when you really understand how the law of attraction and manifesting works, you have to take 100% total responsibility for your reality. You can't play that victim circumstance of, well, well, this happened to me or I came from this or I don't have enough this. That's not how law of attraction and manifesting works. You decide what's possible. You change your programming and conditioning around it. If a setback or a failure happens, you learn from it and you move on. You evolve and grow to the person you need to be to have the things that you want. Life is not happening to you, it's happening for you. So right now, whether you realize it or not, all of your habits and actions continue to support whatever level you're in right now. Your subconscious programming and thoughts and beliefs put you there in this level. And because your subconscious mind runs on autopilot 95% of the time, all of your habits and actions are going to continue to support you over and over again to meet you where you're at, to keep you at this level, because that's where your subconscious programming put you. And I really want you to take that in. You are at where you're at right now because of your subconscious programming. But in order to get to the next level, the level of where you wanna be, maybe it's a new house, a new job, a new car, a new something, something that you intend to manifest is on the next level. If you continue to think the same thoughts, do the same behaviors, do the same actions, how do you expect to get to the next level? This is the part that nobody's talking about. You can keep doing all the manifesting exercises. You can keep doing all the techniques. You can keep saying affirmations. You can read books, watch videos, but until you change your way of being, you are going to stay stuck right where you're at. And when you're stuck and when you're in that place, it's easy to be a skeptic and say the law of attraction isn't real, or it's easy to say that manifesting doesn't work or that, you know, the universe won't give gifts to me. Like I, I've heard it all. I've heard all of the excuses, but notice when you're making these excuses and how can you shift and take accountability that you are where you're at because of your subconscious programming. So if you can change your subconscious programming, you can change your life. To get to the next level, you're going to have to change and rewire your way of being. And when you decide to change your way of being, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be uncomfortable because you are literally breaking and shaping and rewiring and remolding so many different aspects of yourself. You're thinking new thoughts, feeling new feelings, trying out the new version of yourself that has the things that you want. And that can be really uncomfortable if you don't already have those things. If you're shifting into being the version of yourself that makes a lot of money and has a lot of things that you want, of course it's gonna feel uncomfortable when you're not currently making a lot of money or you don't have the things that you want. This is where so many people kind of get stuck. They're like, well, how do I be this version if I don't see it? But that's not the way it works. You have to see it and feel it even before it's there. You have to change your way of being and be the version of yourself that has it. You have to break up the habits and patterns and thoughts 
and rewire your brain for the next level. And that's not something that's easy to do. You can't fake this work. So if you're sitting there saying, okay, well, I'm gonna be a millionaire and you're not actually stepping into that version of yourself and actually changing your habits and actions and maybe doing things that are making you a little bit uncomfortable, then it's not gonna change for you until you fully be the version. Everything starts from being. It's almost as if you are shattering and breaking apart what you know to be true and learning to accept the new reality of what you desire. And when you're in this place of changing who you're being, you're essentially changing who you think you are. You're changing your identity to support the things that you want. And so many uncomfortable feelings are gonna come up because you're stepping into uncharted territory. All of the things that you think are true about yourself, all of the things that you believe are true, they're all just your opinion. And they're an opinion formed off of your experiences and the things you were told and the way you were raised, things people said about you. They're not actually true. It's just a bunch of information you received and you decided who you are. So now when you're doing this work, you're deciding to be different. You're deciding to ignore all of the evidence around you telling you that you're this thing and this person. And you're saying, no, I'm not. You're breaking apart that mold and you're stepping into the new level and you're saying, well, I'm this person. And like I said, this work is totally uncomfortable because you're breaking apart everything you know and you're changing your way of being. But once you start changing your way of being and you're in this new next level, then your outside world will start reflecting that back to you. So right now, who you think you are is based on all of the evidence and information from your external reality. But then when you decide to be different and be the version of yourself that has the things that you want, then your external reality will start to change and reflect from who you're being. Rather than being told who you are, decide who you are and be that person, regardless of what's going on around you. So many people work from their external circumstances. Well, if I had enough money, then I would do this. If I was more successful, then I could have this. If I had a better job, then I could do this. But that's not how it works. You start with your way of being and then your external reality will reflect that back to you. It sounds like an easy transition, but when you're going through it, you'll realize it's one of the hardest things that you'll have to do. Here's a different way to think of it. Think about all of the actors that you see on TV and you see in movies. They're not being themselves. They're being their character. They're changing their little behaviors and thoughts and patterns and emotions to be the character that you're watching. So here's a little exercise that you can try right now. Create a character, someone who has the things that you want. Think of it just like a character in a movie or a TV show, but they have the things that you want. Now, how can you bring this character into life? How can you step into the role and start playing this character in your life? How can you decide to be this character now, regardless of what's happening in your life? Because when you change your way of being, your external reality will catch up. So use that example if it helps you. Be the actor taking on the role that you want to play in your life and watch how things start to shift and change for you. And here's one of the most powerful things about changing your way of being. You can decide to do this at any time, any moment, regardless of your current circumstances. It's a choice that you get to make. You decide to see things differently. And here's the best part. When you work from being what you want to manifest has no choice but to show up. It has no choice. It has to happen. Stop wanting. Stop needing. Start being and watch how your life changes. I truly feel like very few people understand this and the few that do understand this aren't sharing this because it is such a powerful transformative concept that will literally change your life once you figure out and embody how to use this. I approach the law of attraction and manifesting a bit differently. Instead of focusing on a bunch of techniques that seem magical or anything like that, I focus on the core of subconscious programming because subconscious programming holds the real key to manifesting. I've been studying and practicing the law of attraction for well over a decade and I've been there. I've been in that place where you feel stuck and you're reading all these books and just trying everything that every other person is saying to do, saying affirmations, doing certain methods. And I didn't like that feeling of having some things work for me sometimes and then sometimes they didn't. And then I was just constantly chasing things. I felt like I was constantly like trying to manifest things and I felt like I had to do things a certain amount of time or a certain amount of ways every single day. And it was just exhausting. And when you're working from a place of exhaustion and trying, you're actually blocking yourself from being able to manifest what you want. So in my 10 years of studying, what I just 
discovered is that subconscious programming really is the key to manifesting. If you can change the way you're programmed and change your thoughts and beliefs, you can literally change your entire life. There are three pillars of manifesting, and when you truly understand how these work together, it all starts to make sense. I share more about this inside of my signature program called Abundance Academy, so if you wanna find out more, I'll leave a link up here and a link down below. But when you change your subconscious programming, when you can change your way of being, you can free yourself to go to the next level. If you work from the inside out, your entire reality will start to reflect back who you're being. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave me a comment below that says I am, and then insert something you want to be. Just leave it down in the comments and start being that today right now, you have the power to decide. And also, if you found value in this video, be sure to share it with any friends or family members that also might find value in it as well. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And let's connect on Instagram at mkmagicmindset. I post tons of daily affirmations and other law of attraction inspiration. And last but not least, be sure to head over to my website, mkmagicmindset.com. There you can find out more about my digital courses, coaching, and so much more. And I will see you in the next one.